Hey, hi, and hello, and welcome to episode 5 of the Digimon World 3 Let's Play series. In the last episode, we showcased our new champions that we got in our lineup. We got Gilmon, his Digivolution, uh, Growlmon, we got Kumamon, his Digivolution, Grizzmon, and we got Patamon's Digivolution, Angimon. So we just did a couple of battles with them. We got ourselves through Divermon Lake. We saw Protocol Forest, but we weren't too sure about what's going on in there. And then we proceeded on through Divermon, Divermon's Lake to Win Paris, where we've stumbled across Vemon, who won't give us the tree boots unless we play a quick game of hide and seek in the Kicking Forest. So, it's got to be somewhere here. So, I reckon if we just interact with each one of these trees, maybe we might come across Vemon. Okay, but we still got to do some battles. Woodmon. Uh, tech, oh, it only increases your attack power. Let's just do a normal fight. Does decent damage. And we guarded or evaded. And there we have it, Woodmon defeated. 25 experience, so now we're starting to get some decent experience up. Gilmon is now level 7, Gris uh, Growlmon is now level 6, and we get 50 bits from that. Okay. What's over here? Oh, another battle. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to find Vemon. Different scenery. Oh, okay. Oh, it must be so close. But no, it's definitely, definitely a different setting to Digimon World 2. I've been thoroughly enjoying just the expansive world feeling and the absolute freedom you get in the controls. Let's just see if we run past all this. What's this? Okay. Will this be a one shot this time? No. And that that blast gauge is getting very close to being full. I might use a power charge to replenish Graumon's HP. Got three power charges, so okay. So when we used when we did that DNA Digivolve with Grismon, it used 80 MP for both Digimon. Now I saw a ladder over here. Where does this take us? Okay, no, 
Nothing useful. Am I missing something? Um, is there supposed to be a certain tree? I interacted with every single one of these, didn't I? Okay. Oh, it didn't turn into... Oh, it was an ambush. So if it's an ambush, we obviously don't get turned into our digivolution. Oh, if that's the case, let's use Pyrosphere then. Power. So we're doing 191 with Groundmon. And in our two separate attacks, 92 and 130. So the sheer fact of having Groundmon increases our attacks so much. What's up here? Oh, okay. Woodmon. Let's just uh, attack this. Survives that hit. And we evaded or blocked that then take out Woodmon. Hopefully we find Vmon soon. Okay. It's not on any other he's not in any of those trees. So Another battle. Hopefully we evade again. No. Okay. How much damage does he do? Oh, he does 111. Wow. And ground one's level eight. Not in that tree. 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 Okay, let's jump down there. We'll check all these trees again. Okay, another battle. I'm thinking once we get Gilmon up to, or Growmon up to level 10, we might swap out for Grismon. Let Grismon gain a few levels. Because so we're clearly get, we're getting a lot of bits from this. Gilmon's level 8, and we got 40 bits. Because I'm feeling like Sirius City would have. Yeah, 736. We can replenish our. Power charges. Okay, so it's not in any of these trees. Okay. 
Okay, can safely say that. And all the trees pretty much look the same. Another battle. How do we go off against Vegemon? One shots. That's what we want. Grandmon's level 9 now, and we get 40 bits. I've pretty much interacted with almost every tree now. I've done those. I haven't done those, though. Is there something completely obvious and I'm just missing it? I feel as like he's going to be in one of the last couple of trees. But maybe you had to have done certain things in Kicking Forest in order to... In order to... I don't know... Activate. Okay, another battle. Another Vegemon. So this is just guaranteed 25, uh, 20 experience, 40 bits. Okay, now that ground one is level 10, let's swap out for Kumamon. Just so then we're keeping, we're keeping everyone leveling up around the same. Why do we battle? Okay. It's got to be something obvious. Let's see how Grismon lines up against Woodmon. Okay, should get some uh, level up here. Yep, sweet. That's one thing I don't like knowing. Not knowing how long until I'll level up again. I've done them. Done all those trees then.
I have no idea where he is. If you can, if you can, if you guys can see him, please let me know that I'm doing this poorly. Over 200? No. 180. Kumamon's defense is quite high. But well, it must be in order to be evading all the time. I didn't even see Argamon there. Can you find Vmon? Good luck. Did you guys even see that? So we don't one-shot Vegemon. Grismon is level 20, Kumamon's level 6 now. That is so sneaky, there's no way you would have seen you see just the smallest little bit of Argamon there. Which now makes me think, is there any other Digimon that we could have seen in plain sight? But we just didn't see. Okay, so we'll just do a cut and we'll quickly take out Gizamon. Is mine is level five. Lightning slash. Okay, let's have a let's have a look at that one. Is there anything that would give away? There he is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm just gonna go for a bit of a run around and see what I can find off camera and I'll be right back. Oops, you found me. Okay. Oh, there's Vimon. You found me. Okay, I'll give you the tree boots like I promised.
Hey, you're all right. I'm a bit impressed. Here, take the tree boots. Cool. Thanks, Vimon. Yeah, I got the tree boots. Okay. Let's play again sometime. Okay. Is there a tree around here? So there's a radar. What does the radar mean? Does it... Okay. Let's go to Kicking Forest because there was plenty of trees in there. Let's see... Okay, what about this tree? Oh. I wonder what the radar represents. Do I need to kick it at a certain point or okay. Still just gonna get the normal battles. Okay, so we're finally one-shotting. We're one-shotting Gizamons. That's good. Now, I kind of want to have... a Cardmon appear. I want to know what it looks like. Okay. Oh, that one's different. Okay. Does this mean I'm getting close? Oh, Woodmon evaded. And we blocked his as well. Okay. Now Grismon is level 10, it learnt Whirlwind. Okay. I wouldn't mind having a look at that move. Oh, that's pink now. Pink. Pink. There we go. Okay, what have we got here? Ah, oh, so is that the Cardmon? Can't use any of our techniques, so let's just fight normally. Okay, so Cardmon can actually take a decent hit. Can definitely take a decent hit. Okay. Grismon's now 11. And we got a 3B. And now it's back to purple. So I definitely reckon we were right in saying it, the radar means something. Okay, so we might just finish this battle 
and run off to Siriu City. Or we might even just do some training off camera with um, Angie Mom. I might swap that out now so we can get Angie Mon in the mix. Okay, do we get... Oh, it... There it is. There's Cardmon. And we get to see Angemon. Didn't really do a lot. Okay. And how much damage does this do to us? Hasn't got any technique, so let's see what we can do with Angemon. I don't think we'll outdo it. Oh, strength cursed. Okay, now let's uh, let's tag. Let's put uh, not Gilmon. Let's go Growmon. So I like that. I like that you can choose which Digivolution you want to bring out. Let's hopefully give him one. Oh, no. Cardmon is trying to flee. Okay. Angemon's level 21. And we got another 3B booster. Okay, let's hopefully run away. Out of Kicking Forest into Wind Puri. And we'll head to Siriu City. And we'll call it a day there. So we can see our line up behind us. I might train up Patamon off camera. And um, yeah, so we got the kick we got the kicking boots, so now we can start getting card mons, which means we can start getting booster packs, which is therefore making our card battling stronger. Um, but no, we'll explore Sirius City next episode. So you know the drill. If you like the episode, leave it a like. Comment down below what you're liking so far. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know everything you want to talk about with Digimon World 3. And um, we'll go from there. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It keeps you up to date with the channel. And it helps me out big time. So like always, look after yourself. Keep cool. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.